Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me for you for the week of August 17th through August 23rd. For this week I did pull in the Cyber Monday Mystery Kit from Sticky Essentials from 2019 and I also pulled in a bunch of the gold foil that came with the kit. So I am just starting off by staggering my glitter headers as well as using the date covers that came with the kit. The date dots are from Scribble Prints Co. And while I'm doing the base today, I'm actually, so I did record a voiceover for this plan with me, I think about a week and a half or two weeks ago, it was right around Black Friday, I think when I recorded this voiceover originally, but I wasn't really happy with how it turned out. And, um, I don't know. Yeah, I just, I wasn't happy with how it turned out. So today I am re-recording it. So if the next couple of Play With Me's you're hearing a voiceover and it sounds like maybe it was referring to something that I said in this voiceover and it doesn't quite match up, um, I apologize. I am re-recording this voiceover. So just to, I don't know, sort of address, I don't know if it's really an elephant in the room or not, but so this kit was inspired by the geometric Erin Condren planner. Now, I just wanted to put it out there. I will not be using an Erin Condren for 2021. Um, I don't think it's really been a secret that I've been, you know, unhappy with the way that she has laid out her planners. Just since the beginning of January, I've not really been very happy with it. And then um, a couple of months ago, there was a scandal, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go ahead and just Google Erin Condren scandal or um, something like that. But just, I think some choices were made that were not a very good reflection on the brand. And I guess I'll just sort of leave it at that. So I've just, I've decided that I am going forward, not going to support the brand. Um, unfortunately, because of the founder's choices in part, and also in part, um, due to the fact that I'm really just not a fan of her products anymore. At least it doesn't really seem to me that like she really, um, takes customer feedback, at least I don't know. I know I've given some feedback in the last couple of years um, on her planners and just haven't been super happy with them. And for a planner that costs so much, I feel like I shouldn't have to white out as much as I do with the layout and everything. Just that that paired with, you know, the choices that Erin Condren herself has made. It's just not something that I plan to support moving forward. So beyond that, um, switching gears to sort of what happened this week. This week was kind of a, a big week for me health-wise. It was sort of, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It was the week that I ended up taking myself to emergency for my eye issue that I have been having. I feel like I should probably do a life update video and sort of talk about it in one of my upcoming plan with me's just so that this voiceover isn't totally um how do I how do I want to explain it just so that this voiceover isn't totally lining up with the rest of the voiceovers that I have moving forward I think I still have like five more that need to be edited into the video and then uploaded so those will be coming. And then after those, I think I might end up doing a life update video. So if you have any questions that you would like me to answer in an upcoming life update video, just know it'll be, you know, a few videos from now. But yeah, I do kind of want to record a voiceover life update for you guys. Because I know I was gone for quite a while. I think it was like a couple months. So yeah. Anyway, also wanted to mention, because I know I mentioned this in one of my future plan with me's, I think as well, I do want to do a video on the planner that I will be using for 2021. 
So that will be coming as soon as I can get that filmed, basically. And any stickers that I'm missing sort of along the way and you want to know where they're from and I haven't mentioned them, please just leave a comment down below and let me know that you want to know where something is from. So yeah, um, I am going to be doing sort of like a DIY printable planner setup for 2021. And I will be doing some sort of video walk through my planner for 2021. And hopefully that will be going up soon. If let's see, today is December 8th. If I could get it filmed this weekend, that would be awesome. I don't know if that's going to happen though, but I will try. So, uh, yeah, we'll be doing a walkthrough of my sort of like DIY printables only planner. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I still need to print and cut some of the inserts that I'm planning on using, but that really shouldn't take me too long because I think the only ones that are missing are my monthly inserts that I haven't printed and cut yet. So as soon as that's done, that video will be coming. I think it should be coming in December. Don't quote me on that, but I, I think it should be coming in December. Saying that, having not filmed it yet. Anyway, um, I guess I'll sort of get back into the plan with me. Yeah, again, if you have any questions about anything, any stickers that I've missed along the way, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. So I will jump in on Wednesday. The first thing that I marked on Wednesday was work with a Clever Gal Crafts flag and a gold foiled work script from Scribble Prints Co. Then my husband made me coffee that morning on his way to work and I just wanted to mark that in because I know I've talked about this on my channel before but my husband really makes like the most kick-ass coffee I've ever had. So he made me iced coffee that morning and I had to mark it because it was it was delicious and like why not because like half of my planner things are food I don't know why I enjoy marking food in my planner I just do so yeah anyway then I marked a primary care appointment I believe that was a video visit of some sort the stethoscope sticker is from Scribble Prints Co oh and the iced coffee sticker is from Coffee Monsters Co as is the laptop emoji down below the edit script is from SPC as well. I also watched some Seven Deadly Sins that day and got a milkshake from Five Guys. The milkshake sticker is from SPC and the script is from Whimsical Plans. Then I... Ooh, what did I do that day? I marked Get Crafty. I'm trying to... Did I... I might have made the dividers for my new planner for 2021 that day. Anyway, the crafting emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. that I used to mark that. Then on Thursday, I think I probably made myself some coffee that morning. The iced coffee sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. and the coffee script is from Mandy Dreams. Then I did things a little bit out of order to account for spacing. Also, I'm really sorry about the cars going by. It is rush hour right now, and I really wanted to get this uh, voiceover re-recorded so that I could upload this video for you guys tomorrow. So I'm sorry about the background noise. Anyway, moving back to what I was doing in my plan with me, I marked work the same way that I had for the rest of the week. Then I marked filming. The icon is from SPC, as is the film script. Then, let's see, we ended up getting Jet's Pizza for dinner that evening. I am not, like, I really like pizza, but I'm not a big pizza person. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, if you're someone who watches your calories, pizza is delicious, but it is a nightmare when it comes to counting your calories because it eats up, like, you know, good pizza eats up, like, half of your calories for the day. I'll just leave it there. Anyway, the emojis uh, in the two boxes at the end of Thursday are from Coffee Monsters Co. and the Netflix and Chill script is from SPC. On Friday, I went to Dunkin' before work. The coffee sticker is from Coffee Monsters Co. and the Dunkin' script, I believe, is from Letters to Apollo. 
Then I marked work the same way that I had for the rest of the week. That day I also got my Bath and Body Works candle order in. The candle sticker is from the Crafty Banana and the Happy Meal Day script is from the freebie that came with the Cyber Monday mystery kit. I ended up having to add in a day extender on Friday just because, I don't know, just because I did so many things on Friday, I didn't have enough space. Anyway, uh, we watched some movies on Amazon that evening. The Amazon laptop sticker is from Moonlight Paper Co. The script is from SPC. Then in that extender box, I wanted to mark painting my nails. The script is from SPC and the emoji is from Coffee Monsters Co. And then that pain tracker is also from the Coffee Monsters Co. I was really struggling that evening and pretty much like a lot of this week. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I also marked in my feelings afterwards and used another emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. and script from Scribble Prints Co. On Saturday morning, I marked sleeping in. The pillow sticker is from my newest addiction and the script is from Scribble Prints Co. Then I wanted to do some meal planning that day. The icon is from SPC in her gold foil. After we did some meal planning, we ended up going to the grocery store and I used a grocery run sticker from SPC. I ended up cutting the script into two pieces just because it was way too wide and would have covered up the cute emoji and you can't cover up Helen's emojis. Like you just can't. So anyway, afterwards I, oh, what did I do? Oh, I put down the deco for this kit afterwards. I guess I was thinking again that I would maybe use some of the deco functionally, which I definitely could have done because there were some really good like planner and coffee deco pieces. I guess I did that on Tuesday with that planner sticker under the planning time. That was one of the deco pieces, but I guess I just decided to put the rest up top and I don't know. I guess I think it just looks cute. Am I weird for wanting to use deco and date covers at the same time in my spreads? Like I feel like for most people it's one way or the other, but I really enjoy both, but maybe that's just me being extra. So moving back down to the second half of Saturday, I marked some more eye pain with another pain tracker from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I marked snuggling my kitty boy. The cat sticker is from the Sticky Committee and the Cuddle Time script is from Scribble Prints Co. On Sunday, the first thing that I wanted to mark was a YouTube binge. I used a YouTube binge script from Kinsey's Creations and an icon from Scribble Prints Co. for that. Afterwards, I wanted to get some video notes done, so I used a little thing and then layered over it a pencil sticker from Magic Prints Co. I do usually write some video notes so that when I'm trying to record a voiceover, I can just, you know, look down if I forget like where a sticker is from. I usually find that really helpful to do just because at least lately it's been, you know, <laughs> it's been since August, um, since I've looked at this in my planner, like I usually plan every single day, the day of. So all of these stickers were put down back in August, basically when you're seeing this, like on these days, if that makes any sense. I put the stickers down in August. Let's just call it there. <laughs> um, anyway, then we got Slurpees. This was back when the COVID caseload was significantly lower and we felt it was safe to do so. Not the case anymore. Then I marked laundry. The laundry script is from Whimsical Plans and the basket sticker is from Magic Prints Co. Then I marked organizing my stickers with a script from the freebie and a stickers sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. The two emojis below for cooking dinner and cleaning the kitchen are from Coffee Monsters Co. And then I also took the trash out and the icon is from SPC. So here is the finished spread and a little viv wiggle to show off all of the gorgeous gold foil. I really love how sparkly this spread turned out. And here's everything that I have left in the kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this spread. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Stay safe, everyone.